Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're gonna be making this cute butterfly box. If you like the butterfly gift card holder that I created a few weeks back, then you're gonna love this as well. Um, this box is perfect for small gifts or to use as a favor box for weddings, showers, birthdays, or any other occasion you can think of. Um, you're just gonna need a few supplies to make these. Um, you'll need a cutting machine, and I'm gonna be using my Cricut Explore for this. And then you'll need your standard cutting mat, medium or heavyweight cardstock, a scoring tool, and glue. And then to get started, make sure to grab the free SVG template from my blog at svgnation.com. I've left a link in the description that will take you directly there so you can easily find it. And then go ahead and upload your file to Cricut Design Space. And once you've added that to your canvas, um, all you need to do is change these lines to, to score lines and to do that you're just going to click right here on this group of lines and go over here to your operation and then change those to score and now just attach those to your box so just click on this layer to select everything and click attach and that's all the editing you need to do unless you want to resize your box um, right now this is sized to fit perfectly on a 12 by 12 sheet um, if you're using like an 8x11 sheet, you are going to shrink this just a little bit. And to do that, all you need to do is drag the corners um, to resize it. So it's super easy. Um, but I want to make it this size, so here we go. And now when you click on Make It, um, when you are using your scoring tool, you do want to make sure that before you cut this, that your design looks correct in the matte preview. Um, if your score lines are not on top of the box where it should be, then you need to go back and make sure you attach those, otherwise it's not going to work properly. And if everything looks good, then go ahead and connect your Cricut machine and let's go ahead and cut this out. Pressing your cardstock to your mat, and if you're having issues with your paper sliding while you cut, then I highly recommend getting the brayer tool because this is going to press your material firmly to your mat, so it's going to stay still a lot better. Before you start cutting, make sure that you've installed your scoring wheel or your scoring stylus. Um, I'm going to be using the scoring stylus today. And when making boxes, I definitely recommend that you have a scoring tool. Um, you are able to fold the boxes by hand if you don't, but if you don't get the lines folded properly, then the boxes are not going to come out as good. So having a scoring tool is going to make this so much easier on you. And then when it's time to remove the paper from your mat, make sure that you roll the mat off of the cardstock. Um, this is going to help prevent any ripping or curling of your paper. Anytime that I use cardstock or any types of paper, I always remove it this way. And then you're just going to fold on all of your score lines. And if you don't have a scoring tool, then you can look at the design and design space to see all the areas that you need to fold on and go ahead and get all of those folded. And then once all of the lines are folded on, you can begin to assemble your box. And all you need to do to assemble your box is to glue all four of the tabs to the inside of the box. Um, I really like using a hot glue gun for this. The glue holds really well, but it also dries quick, so you don't have to sit there and hold the pieces together for a long time while it dries. Um, but any craft glue, um, except for a glue stick, is going to work for this. And then once your box is dry, it's ready to go. Um, to close the box, all you need to do is fold the two flaps in and then attach the butterfly wings. And to attach the butterfly wings, all you need to do is line up the pieces that are cut out and then just slide them in together. And then you can easily open and close your box just by sliding the butterflies in and out. Um, so they're really easy to open and close and they look really pretty. Um, and they also look great either using regular or glitter cardstock. I think the gold and white glitter paper is really pretty and this would look really pretty for like wed to put wed wedding favors in or for bridal showers. Um, so there's so many uses for these box. And guys, if there's any other box designs that you guys would like to see, let me know in the comments. Um, these are really fun to make, so I'd be happy to make some different designs. And if you have any questions on how to make this box, I'll answer those in the comments as well. Um, but before you go, make sure to like this video and subscribe. I've got lots of tutorials coming for the holidays that you definitely don't want to miss. Um, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And thanks so much for watching. Bye.